At THP, we have a saying, injuries don't go away, they just move around. If you've been keeping up with my videos, you know that I just recently went through a quad pull. Been doing the rehab for it for the last two weeks now and been making great progress. I actually jumped twice this last weekend. On Friday, built up to about an 80% effort right left jump. Yesterday, going outside of the plan, don't tell John. I hooped and I was able to build up to 100% effort, zero problems on my quad. Last week, cleaned 265 for three reps, hip thrusted 500 plus pounds for reps and have been feeling great. However, unfortunately, yesterday, grabbed the rebound and somebody had their, their forearm on my lower back. So it like put me in extension and I landed, back flare up. And this has been a thing that has been building up slowly over time, how back injuries work. Imagine a cup of water and you're filling the cup of water and every time you do something that loads your back in a bad way, it's filling it up with a little bit more water and as soon as the water overfills, that's when you get that symptom, that, that pain flare up. It all started when I tried double East Bay. Double East Bay, you're literally like hunched over and moving your legs like that. Horrible position for your back to be in and I tried that 50 plus times back got really sore that session. Then I started loading super heavy with RDLs, hip thrust, felt it even more, and then landing on that rebound was kind of the, the final straw that broke the camel's back, pun intended. So having said that, my quad is good enough to train hard. Now I just have to be very careful with my back with this training. So we loaded up a cycle that's gonna be the beginning um, of a max strength cycle, but I'm gonna make adjustments to my training based on my back pain. And this is what I what we do with our THP athletes is we keep the training the same, we just have recommendations that we provide. So when it comes to pulling from the ground, make sure you're using perfect technique. If you don't have perfect technique, pull from the blocks. Or if your back is too flared up to pull from the ground, pull from the blocks. Or try going lighter. And as far as the squatting, replace it with something that is less provocative on your back. For me, I'm gonna be doing the belt squat. So today's actually gonna be a good test on whether or not the belt squat helps a lot uh, in terms of having back pain and squatting. So I'm gonna make adjustments to my power cleans and squatting based on those recommendations. Accessory work, I'll be good to go. And yeah, usually at this point, this ain't my first rodeo in terms of back pain. I can usually get back to feeling pretty healthy within a week or so, as long as I'm not stupid. Having said that, let's get into the lift. All right, so far so good. I'm up to 205 now. Uh, I'm literally just focusing on bracing hard and my back is good. So a reminder that that is the most important cue when it comes to back pain. Keep your spine neutral, stay braced, and you can avoid most injuries. The reason I'm feeling back pain is obviously the dunk. I'm not staying neutral, adding a ton of reps. So it's just constantly adding uh, stress on those on those intervertebral discs. Um, and then when I was doing lifts like the hip thrust and the RDL, I was compromising technique a little bit. So it's a reminder, like my back is literally messed up right now, but because I'm staying neutral and keeping my core braced and not going past a, a weight where I start losing, losing posture, I'm good to go. <sighs> Ooh. 
Easy. It is top set time. Here, I'm honestly just gonna really focus on dropping on the catch. Where I'm at, based on my rehab for my quad, this is the part where I have to cross over that point of fear. All right, I'm healthy enough to drop lower on the catch, and I just have to trust my leg that it can handle that. So let's drop low, and then output. Try hard, intent. It's all things I'm gonna focus on here. <sighs> Try hard. Goddamn machine! Oh, Damn, I've definitely gotten way stronger with this shit since we got it. This machine right here is a beautiful piece of machinery. Zero back pain. I can literally just lean back a little bit more, put all the emphasis on my quads. Also, I can tell I've gotten way stronger with this machine since I got it. So it's gonna be really fun to see uh, how it transfers over, over to my jumping. Having said that, let's get this last set going on. Woo! Ugh. <sighs> 
Ah. Yeah, that's my weight right there. By the way, guys, my online coaching is literally half off right now. And this goes for new athletes or current THP athletes. This is the last time our six and 12 month options are this cheap. After December 2nd, Cyber Monday, we're up in the price of the six and 12 month option. So I give you guys some extra time to gather up some money, get your savings right. That way you can upgrade, upgrade to, to the six month or 12 month. If you get that deal, it'll literally be 50% cheaper to buy THP for the year price versus if you buy the monthly after December 2nd. So don't wait, go to thpstrength.com, take advantage of that. Black Friday, woo, Cyber Monday, woo. All right, y'all, finishing my accessory work here. Chewing up volume. I'm not showing all the sets of the accessories, but I do what I can with what I have. Woo! All right, y'all. If I'm working out, I'm out.